let's get started. We got a bunch of Graham and Mary's second TikTok site, Mozarts.m. Uh, it's been out for a while. I was doing some videos on it. Then her other site got back up and running. I guess it was, uh, she couldn't run it for a while. Maybe something wrote her cell phone or something. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but uh, she couldn't post anything over there. So she started up a second site, which is this one. And then when the other one went up, got up and running again, I uh, assumed that she probably would not continue with this one. But I was wrong. She has all kinds of stuff on here. Okay. So I was alerted to that earlier today by one of my uh, subscribers. So uh, I appreciate that for giving me the heads up. I was not paying attention. And now I am. <laughs> Thanks to your heads up. Let Let's go ahead and watch this video here. This is a, uh, let me give you the hashtags. Angelina Jordan, Angelina Jordana, Mary Zermani Art, Art and Mozart. So, and the music is Confiso Kenny Garcia. I don't know if that's even close, but that's the best I got. So let's go ahead and listen. backseat video. <laughs> uh, poor Angelina. Make sure you get some Angelina. You're giving it all away. Okay, let's go on to the next video. See what we got. Can I see? Can I see? Oh my god. Who's that back there? Is that Grandma Mary? Who's in the back seat? Can I see? Can I see? Oh my god. It's got one of those uh, distorted face things, or uh, not distorted. Oh, see? Remember the one with Uncle Mike a little while ago when there's, he was uh, oh, Neanderthal with the girls? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear me when I talk with the videos on because I think it uh, buries the sound somehow, but let's get this back to this other video. Maybe. Maybe get it back. There we go. I don't know who is back there. Let's, let's read the uh, hashtags. Angelina Jordan, Angelina Jordana, Mary Zamani, Art Mozart's and the song and the music is I'm Yours, Lofty Fruits Music and Chill Fruits Music. Okay, there you go. Doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> and that's almost, uh, that's a lot, of, that's oftentimes what it is. And that's okay. I don't really care. These are fun anyway. It doesn't matter if I don't know who's in the picture. Well, before we get too far, Angelina Jordan, Angelina Jordana, Mary Zamani, Art Mozarts, and Art Original Sound Mozarts. Okay, there you go.
Okay, I got spinny wheels of whatever that means. I don't know what. Let's go here and then go back to there because I want to stop right there. Oh man! There. Good enough. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to comment on this video a little bit. Angelina, in this picture, if you ask me, this is my opinion only. She looks fantastic. This is this is the look I like on Angelina, okay? And here's why I like it. Not a lot of makeup, at least not that I can tell. And uh, she's got the hoop earrings, just a little bit, you know, something that's not that, nothing big and fancy. And then the little necklace there, I don't know if that, you know, if that has some significance or not. But, you know, it's just a little adornment, but it's not that much, you know? And... Uh, Casual clothing, beautiful. They must be out. I don't know what they're doing today, but that's fine. And her hair is uh, beautiful. It's, you know, I don't know when she combed it last. It doesn't matter. You know, if a little flyaway hair is on there, that's fine with me. As a matter of fact, I think it makes it look better that way. Honestly, it's <laughs> an eh, eh, hair alert, okay? And, um, yeah, she just looks, she looks just absolutely perfectly gorgeous in this picture. And... Grandma Mary's coming up in a little bit, and doesn't she look awful good, too? She looks great. Great. She's looking younger every day, that Grandma Mary. And I was laughing because her uh, her mannerisms there, when she's, like, covering up there and, you know, just checking things out, reminded me exactly of my mother. That would be something my mother would do, okay? And uh, it's got nothing to do with age. It's got to do with, uh, what, would I, what would you call it, as... Uh, you know, as you get older, sometimes you're just, you know, more of a conservative style, if you will. I don't know if that's even the case with Grandma Mary or not. She usually seems like she's dressed very nicely. You know, I would say, you know, somewhat conservatively, but she always looks really nice. And now she, now she's looking like younger all the time. I got to find out her secret. She must have found a fountain of youth over there. So anyway, that is that. Let's move on and do another video here. Last one. On the last one, where she was singing to, in the car, no electronic help, okay, no electronic help. She obviously doesn't know the song real well, neither do I, I don't even know the song at all, and, uh, and yet her voice is like out of this world. It's so beautiful, that's all. So here we go with the debutante ball uh, video. Angelina Jordan, Angelina Jordana, Mozart's Art and France. Original music, Mozart. Let's watch. All the father, fathers in front of her daughter. Thank you so much, dear daughter. All the father. On the right in front of her daughter. Vous avez également un podium pour les photographes juste derrière moi. Si jamais vous voulez prendre de la hauteur, mais peut-être que c'est trop loin. Je vous prends. Est-ce que tout est ok Oui. Oui. La revoir de Winnie débutante. There are not there, ça.
size your dick, dude. Holy mackerel, he's two feet taller than those guys. <laughs> that guy's got to be eight feet tall, at least seven. He's up there, man. Way taller than most everybody else in that room by a lot. Yikes. Okay. I don't know who he is, but he's tall. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. So the only part of the video that hit Angelina was the first part. Uh, and she looks beautiful, stunning. As far as I'm concerned, the camera should be on her all the time. Okay, I'm just saying, okay? And all those other girls are beautiful too. They are, you know. But but I only came to see one. And it was <laughs> she was in the beginning. And uh, that's that. Anyway, so the, I, you know, that debutante ball thing was great, wasn't it? You know, Angelina had a chance to actually be a real-life princess. The, the, the things that she's checked off her list already is it's unbelievable, really. Nobel Peace Prize twice. Uh, oh, man, I'll tell you. Let's go ahead and watch another one. Oh, egg yolk. Egg yolk. Oh, sometimes I get defeated. I get a feeling that I'll never, ever, never, never have before. No, no. And I just want to tell you right now that I, I believe, I really do believe. Yes, um, something got a hold on. Juliet Nagel, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, you know, uh, let's do the hashtags. Angelina Jordan, Angelina Jordana, Mozart, Art, Juliet, Agil, Jordan. Oh, you're gonna, you want to go again? Let's go again. Oh, sometimes I get defeated. I get a feeling that I'll never, ever, never, never have before. No, no. And I just want to tell you right now that I, I believe, I really do believe, yes, um, something got a hold on me. Okay, there we go. Yeah, just having a little fun there. Uh, <laughs> uh, it is something else. Let's watch one more. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you and I don't Oh wait, oh wait, I'm about to I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you and I don't care if you don't fuck me, I'm yours right now. So, I love you. I oh, 
yeah, we do. We love you too. Okay? As a matter of fact, we love Aries too. That's Aries, I think. Yeah, Aries, okay. It says Angelina Jordan, Angelina Jordana, Aries, Mozart, and Art. I put a spell on you. Angelina Jordan is the musical selection for today. The very first song I ever saw of Angelina Jordan. I put a spell on you when she was nine years old in the studio. And changed my life forever for the better. Okay? Uh, just by watching a video of a nine-year-old Norwegian girl. <laughs> Who knew? Nobody. Okay? Can you write a manual that makes that hit come to life? Not. You cannot. You can't do it. I... I, 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 def I Try, give it a try, okay? How to change your life in uh, uh, three or four, what would that be, about three and a half, four minutes, maybe something like that? How to change your life in three and a half minutes. Watch this video. I might write a book like that. Yeah, why not? Maybe I'll try that. I'll make that video and I'll put that as a title, right? <laughs> uh, anyway, Aries, the next generation, I'm telling you, Angelina, the the biggest superstar ever in the whole world. She's going to end up being, I think. She's going to change the world. Juliet, somehow she's going to be involved in all that too. And I don't know whether she's going to be out. You know, Angelina, you know, like a band, any band, or most bands, not any band, most bands have a front person. The one that's like Queen had Freddie Mercury. And uh, Aerosmith had, uh, what's his name there, Steven Tyler. I think it was Steven Taylor, right? Yeah. And yeah, maybe I got that right. Maybe I got that wrong. I don't know. Um, pick pick some other bands, right? They got a front person. To, David Lee Roth was a was a was a front guy, you know. And these guys are the ones that uh, get most of the camera time, do most of the lead vocals, and all that kind of stuff. And they also, uh, back in the old days, they used to be primarily responsible for doing all the antics, uh, like. Smashing guitars, setting things on fire, and all that kind of stuff they used to do back in the old days. And um, uh, I'm not, I'm not saying that we want to revive that. Cause, you know, yeah, nowadays I don't think you could even do it. But so then there's going to be Angelina. She's the, she's going to be number one. That's she's going to be, you know, it for the next couple of thousand years. Um, Juliet's going to be in there somewhere, in some way, shape, or form. In the, an assistant goddess role of some kind, <laughs> or she may become something special herself in this, you know, could be singing, could be dancing, could be both, could be some other type of skill that she might develop or have that I don't even know about. She might be a great artist like her grandma. I don't know. I don't know what uh, Juliet is, uh, her path is going to be. Uh, it's got to be a little hard for her to be uh, in Angelina's shadow, but on the other hand, I think there's a lot of benefits in that, too. And because they love each other so much, I don't think it's going to be a big issue. Hopefully not. Juliet just needs to find her thing. And when she finds her thing, I have no doubt she'll go after it like a, a, a pit bull on a pork chop, just like Angelina's done with singing. It's all, it's just, it isn't that they even have to work at it. It becomes a part, it becomes a, who they are. So they, they just do it because that's what they are. That's what they do. Angelina said it. Singing's like breathing to her. Yep, I believe that's true. So what happens next after that? Then you got Athena coming right up along behind her. She's already a superstar. <laughs> then we got Aries right there with her, man. You seen these little videos here? Yeah, she's right there. Okay, let's go on to the one more maybe. Oh, yeah. This one, let me read the hashtags while the little spinny balls are going. Angelina Jordan, Angelina Jordana, Aries, Sarah Star, Juliet, Aries, Mozart, and Art. Music, I'm yours, Laffy, fruits, fruits Music, and Chill Fruits Music. And I don't know why that's spinny balling on me, but let's go ahead and back it up a little. That ain't good. Back it up this way. That ain't good either. Okay, we'll go that way. Back to Agil. Oh, boy. Looks like we froze up a little. Oh, wait a minute. No. Yep. Well, come on now. Let's try a refresh. Let's see what happens. We get this. Well, this isn't bad necessarily, as long as it works. That isn't. Oh, yep, there we go. Good. Let me get the sound on and turned up. There was no sound right now, so we'll put it on. We got it up all the way. 
And you know what else I want to do if we can? Yeah, let's go full screen on this one. Yeah, man. Now my picture's gone, but worry not. I am here in the background. Let's go ahead and watch. Hi, Jesus. Hi, Jesus. Kiss. Kiss. Kiss, Jesus. Jesus? Is it Jesus? Look! It's Jesus! Hold on! Be nice! Oh, look! You're so handsome! Kiss? I love you, Jesus! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. We gotta watch that again and I'll tell you why. This is Aries. When I saw Athena for the first time, I said, that girl, that's got to be the, probably one of the cutest kids with the hair and the big eyes and all that, you know. And uh, But all kids are cute, you know, but that's, but some just got it, okay. And well, Athena's got it. And guess who else has got it? Aries has got it, okay. Uh, look at her. She's just, uh, just mesmerized by the pictures of Jesus up there. And she gives Jesus a kiss. It's, it's just so cute. Let's watch it again. Hi, Jesus. Hi, Jesus. Kiss. Kiss. Kiss, Jesus. <laughs> I love <So> you. <laughs> you love Jesus? I kiss. I kiss. Sis. Sis, Jesus? Look. It's Jesus. Hold on. Oh, look, you're so handsome. Kiss. I love you, Jesus. Okay. All right. Listen, I'm good. we're going to do it one more time. The only reason we're going to do it is because I keep talking all the time. So. Hi, Jesus. Kiss. Kiss. Kiss, Kiss Jesus. Jesus? Is it Jesus? Look! It's Jesus! Hold on! Be nice! Oh, look! You're so handsome! Kiss? I love you, Jesus! I'll tell you what. So, I think we're going to end this video here uh, before I get too carried away, which doesn't take much. And I'll tell you, uh, oh, this whole family just has it, okay? <laughs> Every one of them. And as a family, they're just, uh, they're, they're, they're uh, the rock of Gibraltar, man. They're just solid. Solid, solid. They're just, they're, they're, I mean, what do you say? Their love for each other is so strong. I think it's, it's just unshakable, right? This is what I think. Now, you know, Angelina's got a decade of uh, stuff coming up. You know, this is an important decade for her. I think this is when most of it happens, okay? Not all of it. But most of it uh, is going to happen in the next 10 years. You know, she's got a lot longer than that for a career if she chooses to have one that long. Um, I believe that Angelina is the type of uh, young lady who will probably want a family of her own at some point, And that will take some time away. And it will also take her some focus away. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. And, uh, of course, Juliet's uh, coming up. So is Athena and Aries hot on her tail. So... <laughs> As much as you're looking forward, Angelina, you might want to look back over your shoulder once in a while and see, see, see who's gaining speed. So, yeah, but they love each other so much. I mean, they're not, it's not a competition. It's all, you know, I think they all support each other's dreams, whatever those dreams might be. And they also are 
uh, thrilled if there's any if they see any little potential or spark of interest or whatever it might be. I'll bet you that's the case. I don't think they try to steer these kids anywhere. They just let them find their thing, and then they just get behind them and let them support them in their uh, uh, search and endeavor to 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 explore that thing, whatever it might be. So that's just my feeling. I don't even know if I'm right, but I, you know that's what it seems like to me. Because Angelina turned out and uh, never seen, uh, never heard a singer like her, and I have always been convinced that I'm not sure I've ever seen a person like her that has, since she was six years old or around there, and determined that she wanted to sing for the whole world. Once she, uh, that was her dream. Yeah, talk about Pitbull on a pork chop, right? They, they're following. They have somehow they've developed a sense of. Ease, ease of motion where they are moving towards that dream her entire life. When I say they, the whole family's involved, of course. And Angelina, for the whole family to get behind Angelina's dream, that's that to me almost, that gives me chills up my spine. Not that I didn't have support in my family, I did. But I had most of my support from my mother, which is maybe you know the case here with Angelina too, and her and her mother and her grandmother. My, unfortunately, my grandparents, I didn't know my paternal grandparents and my gra my mother's mother passed away when I was very young, a little, probably two, three years old, maybe somewhere around in there. And maybe you know, I might have been a little older than that. I might have been four or five. I don't, I don't remember. OK, but, you know, I remember my grandmother uh, quite a bit. So I must have been older than two or three, I would think, probably more like five or six, five. Yeah, I would say maybe around five. So. um how did I get on all that? Oh, the love in the family. So you, you got, you know, grandparents have a special place in, uh, I think, in kids' lives, little kids. Because they may not remember their grandparents down the road. You know, it depends on how much time they spend with them and what kind of things uh, stick in their mind. You know, the, I think that the stuff I remember from a little kid are things that left a mark on me somehow. Things, Things like... Oh, I remember one time a bat got in our house and my f father was chasing it around with a tennis racket. My mother had a, a blanket or a towel and they were trying, trying to get the bat out of the house. <laughs> and they, they were yelling, cover your heads, because there used to be this thing where they thought bats got in your hair and then they would bite you and stuff like that. And uh, <laughs> cover, your, cover your hair. There's shit. Five little kids, you know, running around there, okay? Little ones. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're they're going a million miles an hour trying to get rid of this bat. And they're at the same time, you know, cover your hair. I just remember that. I remember that so vividly. And there's another time underneath the, uh, we lived in Delaware for a short period of time. Uh, well, about three years, four years maybe. And uh, there was some uh, rickety old stairs that went down out into the backyard. And there were two things that happened out there. I'll just tell you real quick. I know we're not here to talk about me, but... You know, I can't help it. So the story goes, there was a bush in that backyard that for whatever reason, fireflies would go on that bush and that bush would light up like a, look like it was on fire, like a torch. And I got a mason jar one time and I got a whole bunch of them. I just took the mason jar over there and I just went like that and I just put a whole bunch of fireflies in that jar. And after a while, they kind of all settled down to, the, down to the bottom and I shook it and it would light up like a flashlight. I mean, it was a lot of light. I was surprised. And, and unfortunately, the next day, uh, no more light. They were poor old fireflies uh, uh, had met their uh, demise. Uh, so I didn't take very good care of them. But I had I was just uh, uh, so, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, so interested in that, that the whole firefly thing. And then also in those same, at the same place, down these rickety stairs, there's like a little shed type thing underneath the stairs. And uh, I went in there. Man, I saw the biggest spider I'd ever seen in my life. Man, that spider was huge. Of course, I was a little kid, you know. I don't know how big the spider actually was, but I swear it was bigger than me. <laughs> Black, big hairy legs, you know. They got those little pinchers in the front. You know, I saw it all, right? And this was, I was seeing it was dark in there when I was underneath there. I remember it being dark. I don't know whether it was dark because it was enclosed in dark or whether it was nighttime, but... I could catch with little glimpses of the, whatever light there was available. I could catch all this stuff with the spider, all the details, right? The legs and all that. 
And uh, I'm not afraid of spiders necessarily, but does anybody want them crawling around on them and biting them? No. Okay. So yeah, that left a mark on me too. Not a mark, a bad mark, but just a, a memory that I still very vivid in my mind right now. So anyway, where did I go with all that stuff? So you got uh, Aries here. She's very young. Uh, apparently they're bringing her up. Uh, in, you know, she knows who Jesus is. I don't know if that means that they follow uh, that's their religious uh, direction or not. And that's fine. Whatever they choose. I'm a believer in what, I'm a believer in, it's good to believe in something. That's what I believe in, okay? And most of the religions of the world that I'm f even a little bit familiar with, I think most of them promote good. And they provide some direction. And no matter what it is, there's always some radicals that push it too far. And those are the ones that get all the attention. But, um, it, yeah, it doesn't matter if you're selling ice cream. You know, there's, there's, there could be a radical ice cream guy out there, person, that uh, decides they're going to cure the world of all its ills somehow, you know. And uh, it's just, you know, it's just human nature, I guess. I don't know what it is. There's always some outliers. Nobody, you know, we don't all fall in line. So, uh, yeah, so this... This is such a cute video. It's so nice, really. To see her. She's just an innocent child. Uh, now she, she loves Jesus. She's kissing Jesus. Uh, I don't think it's a bad start in life, to be honest with you. To have belief in something. And be it Jesus, or if you have other beliefs and believe in other things, that's fine. You know, uh, nobody knows. You know, if you're a believer, you believe that what you believe is right. But... You know, from a if you're a non-believer or a heathen, like myself, uh, sorta. I, I sorta, you know, I'm I'm in a weird spot. I think by choice, but um, you know, there's comfort in believing in something. If you like discomfort, then you know, choose your path, whatever you want. If you're doesn't matter what religious. Probably whatever religion you were brought up with or around is the one you follow, typically. Um, although there's every community has a variety of uh, churches and places to go worship and so on, and you don't actually need anything for most you know religious purposes. You can you can pray on your own to whoever you want to, however you want to, uh, I suppose. And you know, there are some religions that mandate certain types of prayer, certain times of prayer, certain times of day, and all that. And that's fine. Whatever it's Hey, if you belong to it, then you follow the rules, right? So, I think it's a good way. My mother used to say that uh, she used to take all of us kids to church. We were raised Roman Catholic. And she used to herd all five of us kids, get us all dressed up and polish us up and take us to church. <laughs> that lasted for a few seconds after church was over. By the time we got home, you know, I had my shoes off, my shirt all untucked, and uh, half the buttons are missing now. <laughs> <laughs> dirt on my pants from something who knows what uh you know the girls all stayed pretty good shape but not me i was the oldest and i was uh, a busy guy so i don't know i just think it's good so having her be aware of uh, jesus not knowing probably too much about him but uh it's a not a bad start in life it gives you a little bit of a direction moral moral compass my mother used to call it so there you go, guys. I have talked way too long. I'm sorry to take all your time. But um, if you're still here, God bless you. You know, I'll throw a God in there just because of, I'm a heathen, but maybe I'm not maybe not a full-fledged heathen. <laughs> I got some friends trying to convert me to some things, and it's like, uh, you know, uh, Christianity's kind of things. And it's like, yeah, it's I believe in a lot of stuff, but, you know, there's some of the stuff I don't really believe in that, you know. Weird stuff. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Have a good night, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.